Hey, this is episode 133, so let's go ahead and cue the music because this is going to be fascinating. Hey, this is your boy, man, Moonraker, and this is episode 133 of the UFO Report from UFO Buster Radio, the one and only. So basically, you guys see the headlines. It's all over the place since the 15th. Two of the Stars Academy is doing some rubber dicking, and uh, they got called out. They really did. And so Mr. Tom DeLong is backtracking. He's calling people out. He's like, no, that's not what it is. You guys are lying. No, we're not $37 million in debt. Are you sure about that, bro? Are you good? Mr. DeLong, are you good? The article that we have for you in today's UFO report it actually comes from the one and only Billboard magazine from BillboardMagazine.com. By the way, if you want to read the full article, and you're going to want to, because there's a lot of articles out there, especially the one that initially set the stage on fire for uh, To The Stars Academy by Arts Technica. And the article also includes the SEC filing that's causing all the hubbub, all the business that he's having to deal with right now, all the shit that's rolling downhill, and it's not green, because apparently Tom DeLong. And to the Stars Academy is not shitting green anymore. The article is titled, Tom DeLong Calls Report on UFO Research Firm's $37 million Deficit, A Blatant Lie. He said, you fuckers are lying about us, Arts Technica, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Completely ashamed. The amount is coming from their SEC filing. That's right. They filed. And according to this, the report that was uh, published by Arts Technica on October the 15th claimed that Tom DeLong's UFO research organization, I don't even know if you call it that, but it is what it is, to the Stars Academy of Arts and Science accumulated $37.42 million deficit according to a mid-year SEC filing. Tom DeLong lost his fucking mind. I mean, he went bananas. I mean, he... He did like Trump. He's he's like, what? What? That's huge. What? So he went to Twitter. Tom DeLong went straight to Twitter. He says, I'm not going to take this kind of shit from you guys because you know, you know that what you're reporting is incorrect. Incorrect. And, you know, the article is great because this article actually has a few quotes from Mr. DeLong from his, uh, I guess his... Twitter rage? His, his rampage? I don't know what you call it. So uh, let's read it verbatim because he wrote this. Apparently this writer can't read. Oh snap. He just called him out. He says to the Star Academy never even raised $37 million. I don't even know what that has to do with anything because we're talking about an expense you rubber dicker. Nobody's talking about what you didn't raise which as a matter of fact turns out that was a lie too. So he continues, so how in the hell did we spend it? Uh, it's called debt. What, what is wrong with this guy? Stick to the music. Lord, I ask all of you that believe in the At To The Stars Academy mission to go write a complaint on their website right now for trying to hurt an admirable effort to help humanity by using negative attacks and hashtag lies, fuckers. But he didn't stop there because he continued to write. The approximate $37 million stockholders deficit is not debt, as he characterized it, but an attributable to stock-based compensation expense. It is not related to the operational results of the company. So he's basically saying the company is running just fine, except that we pay people with stocks. Stocks that are not worth the paper you shit on or that you put in your birth birdcage basically so they pay people with stock instead of money 
This is for real. This is a true, this, this is not a lie. He actually wrote that. He says they pay people with stock. Now, the last time that I looked at To The Stars Academy, they only had like about a dozen employees. Who the fuck is he giving $37 million in stock to? There's a bunch of rich fuckers out there with paper that doesn't mean shit, according to Tom DeLonge. But that's not the, that's not the, that's not the, uh, how do you say it? That's, that's not the, that's not the end of it. I mean, I don't even know what to say because I'm kind of shocked in this back and forth. Because the thing is that all this nonsense is in the SEC filing. And here's another uh, nice little bit of uh, information that for those of you who feel intrepid and wish to go to the SEC filing that's linked into that article that's in the description right now for you to look at. Take a look at the operating expense for To The Stars Academy for the year of 2017. Now, uh, this is this is really important because, according to what I have, it was in 2017 that uh, they started selling stock in Two the Stars Academy. A total of fifty million dollars was being sold to people who wanted to take their hard-earned money and put it into an organization that's going to research UFOs and all kind of stuff. Led by Tom DeLong and Elizondo's in there and the rest of the, the crew. The zoo crew, if you will. According to the website, a total of 2,547 investors got down. They threw down their money. Cha-ching, sign me up. The problem is that uh, that was just a little tiny bit over a million dollars worth of stock that they sold. But if you look at their SEC filing, which shows 2017 as well, the, two, the, <laughs> the filing shows that they were operating at a deficit of over $25 million. What the fuck did they do for 20... Are you serious right now? This is rubber dicking at its highest. You're telling me in that SEC filing that pay people with stock that really has no backing at a tone of over $30 million is a mischaracterization of what To The Stars of Academy is really at right now. Like, no, the company's doing great. Oh, they're hurting us. They're hurting us. No, don't cry, Wolf. Don't do that. Don't do that, Mr. DeLong. Don't do that because you presented this company to the world and then you use a mylar balloon shaped like a penis and said, what is that? You had your people stand up there in amazement over a mylar balloon that was misidentified as a UFO. And then have the nerve to ask whether or not it was humanly possible to create a craft like that. Well, apparently somewhere in some party city or some balloon store, somebody has a bunch of mylar dicks that they fill up with helium and ended up on your presentation for Tudor Stars Academy. That's <laughs> that's uh, really sad that we're at that point there, Mr. DeLong. So anyway, so he, he had this meltdown. And he's telling people, no, that's not true. The $37 million, that's something you do. It's not operating costs. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's fuzzy math is what it is. But here's the thing. There is a note within that SEC filing, uh, which I'm sure was not put on there by anyone else other than the Two of the Stars dream team. And it says this, going concern, and I'm going to quote you. This is directly from the SEC filing that uh, was sent in by Two of the Stars Academy. The accompanying financial statements have been prepared on a going concern basis. Oops. What the heck does that mean? Which contemplates the realization of assets and the satisfaction of liabilities in the normal course of business. The company has incurred losses from operations and has an accumulated deficit at as of uh, June 30, 2018 of $37,432,000. These factors raise doubt about the company's ability to continue as a going concern. 
fuck my life. You basically said it within your SEC filing that the company is screwed. But you take to Twitter and you try to take Arts Technica's writer and their basically their organization and you try to get people to attack them because they are uh, mischaracterizing such a noble company like To The Stars Academy. What are you smoking, Tom DeLong? What are you passing around with the rest of your cronies? How can you give out that much money in stock and someone not question what the hell is really going on? And, you know, didn't two, <laughs> they just started in 2017. How could they have that much of a de- deficit in operations in 2017? It sounds like they're pushing money that's owed somewhere else into To The Stars Academy, hoping that little suckers like us, little blue-collar people would pay for that shit. The math here is crazy. Now, you know, I am a uh, Manny Moonraker, of course, and I I like to talk about this shit. But, you know, he made a point. He says, hey, listen, uh, you know, paying people off in stock, you know, instead of money, it's not considered a, an operational deficit. So the company is great. If you look at Investopedia and any other place that uh, talks about things like this, as far as SEC filings and operational expenses, it isn't allowable. So basically, there's some rule somewhere that says little startup fucker companies like this can actually do that. However, many of them say that if you have a discerning eye for a really fucked up weird numbers, that you as an investor should look at that significant deficit in stock payoffs, not just as any kind of an expense, but also look at it as an operational expense. Because the fact is, that money is owed. It's owed to somebody. And according to Tom DeLong, it's owed to the people that he's paying off as his employees with fake paper. It's probably Monopoly paper that he just signs and says, Here, this one is worth $10. That's worth $42. Take that and save it. Because one day, we will be great again. We will make space great again. And we will make our own UFO and fly away and follow a comet somewhere and praise it. Listen, you you have to have a really... I don't know. I don't know what to say. You, You... You got to be able to make sense of things. And, you know, and the fact that he melted down and and took to Twitter, but yet his own SEC filing says that the company is fucked. That should really, you know, concern everyone that he came into this picture, brought us a bunch of videos and some of them were good. We're not going to sit here and bash him to death. Some of those videos were great. The Nimitz and Gimbal videos, Elizondo, you are a thief in the night who was able to get those videos for us and show us that the government itself is fucked up in the head and really doesn't know what the hell is flying out there. Kudos in that respect. Now, Mylar Penis, uh, you know, everybody fucks up. We're all human, right? This might have been a fantasy thing for them, but they did it anyway. They put the Mylar Penis up there, and there's nothing you can do. You can even backtrack from that because the minute, uh, you know, that video went around and those idiots are standing in front of the penis like that, and they were thinking, you know, it's from outer space. That kind of, kind of hurt. It hurt their credibility. But they barely recovered from that. You see, because people today, whenever they talk about To the Stars Academy, they're still talking about the Mylar penis. But here's the problem: now you have this humongous number, thirty-seven million dollars, that you're saying has nothing to do with operating costs. But the experts out there say we probably should look at it that way before we even think about investing any more into To The Stars Academy. In addition to that, your own SEC filing says the company is fucked. And uh, you're barely around two years. So, what do we do? We, the people, need to stop investing on rubber dickers. I mean, that's what it comes down to. This is why the phrase rubber dicker is around. Stop investing in rubber dickers that are going to take your money 
And I swear to you, there's just no way that in the few months of 2017 that Two Stars Academy was around, that they were ever to amass $25 million in debt. That's an operational loss, $25 million. And actually, for the six months of 2018, they showed $5 million in operational loss. Doing what? I haven't seen anything of anything that was meaningful or helped ufology or helped define anything whatsoever dealing with the topic since those videos came out. It's pretty sad that they sold barely a million dollars, but yet they have millions and millions in costs. And I don't know anyone that's even taken a class at Two the Stars Academy. <laughs> I don't even know if they even have classes, folks, because everything I found showed that there's less than 20 employees in the whole damn place. So I don't know. There are some numbers here that might throw Two the Stars Academy to the point of just closing down because... You can't hide this kind of stuff. You can't even write it either. I mean, it is what it is. It sounds like we're being rubber dick for money. And all those people that have that Monopoly money with his signature on it saying, I'll, you know, I'll pay you later for a little bit of action or activity today, they're screwed. They may never see that ever, 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 ever. And how does a UFO uh, research-related company apply for bankruptcy. I'm telling you, if that ever happens, we are going to see some crazy stuff come out of that bankruptcy filing because Tudor Stars Academy, it does not look good for you. And thank goodness we're not counting on you to run any big enterprise. And then again, you know, I could be wrong. Listen, in two years, they could come out of it. They've invented a UFO and they actually beat everyone into space. You know, Tom DeLong is going to be sitting on Mars just watching, you know, uh, Elon Musk's ship come in or watching NASA landing while he's sitting on his UFO that he created with Two of the Stars Academy Bucks. But how likely is that, that that's the way it's going to go? I don't know about you guys, but whatever movies or books he's uh, planning to put out, he needs to get to it because... That's a lot of damn money to owe in such a short time to so many people. This is UFO Buster Radio. Listen, if you're interested in listening to the podcast in the future, why don't you like, why don't you follow, why don't you share? Sharing is caring. And while you're at it, visit the Moonraker guy on Twitter at UFO Buster Radio, on Instagram at Manny Moonraker, and the Facebook pages Manny Moonraker and UFO Buster Radio. You can try Google Plus until I think like October of next year or the next nine months. I don't know how long it is. Next ten months. Some shit like that. Plus Manny Moonraker. But that will eventually die as well because those fuckers rubber dicked everyone and took our trust of their ability to protect our information and pretty much shit all over it. So this is it for today, the Wednesday edition of the podcast. Yeah, you know, go into the link, check out the article. Don't don't just take my word for it, just read through it. And I'm telling you, go to the section that says Note 2, and you'll see on there. Uh, they said that pretty much they think To The Stars Academy is going to go belly up. That they have <laughs> no trust in the fact that they're going to recover that money. And all the people that got played with that Monopoly bucks, uh, they're pretty much screwed. So anyway, I'm signing out. Ciao. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. See you in two days. I guess it's more like hear you in two days. Sayonara.